Chinese herbs are a lot of fun and very interesting because we can use various combinations to make different kinds of tea. Uh, today I'll talk about four kinds of tea which are used for different purposes. Tea that can be used for improving your vision. And this is a very simple tea to make. Uh, it just consists of only three ingredients. Uh, Wolfery seeds or gouqi zi, chrysanthemum flower or ji hua, and mulberry leaves or shang ye. When we talk about clearing vision, uh, we don't mean all kinds of vision problems, but the kind of vision that comes with aging and with certain amount of heat and dryness uh, that arises from what we call the liver in Chinese medicine or liver uh, qi, stagnation, stagnation of liver qi. Uh, and when there is stagnation of liver qi, it can sometimes progress into uh, liver fire, which arises rises up and causes redness of eyes and dry eyes and you get some blurring vision as a result of that. Now among the three ingredients, both chrysanthemum flower and mulberry leaves have the effect of clearing liver heat or liver fire and to bring down excessive liver yang, yang as in yin and yang, bring it down to a more balanced level. The wolfery seeds helps to improve the vision further by nourishing yin. Uh, when you nourish yin, you also moisten usually. So the nourishing the yin by the wolfery seeds adds to the effect of the chrysanthemum and mulberry leaves by moistening the eyes and in a way cooling it as well. Therefore, the three in combination gives you a nice uh, balance between moistening and cooling and dissipation of heat and also uh, it uh, has a nice natural taste because of the wolfberry seeds. The other tea I want to talk about is for blood circulation. Uh, this tea is, uh, does, consists of four ingredients. Uh, there is a hawthorn or known as sancha, tanshen, uh, lotus leaves or he ye and wolfberry seeds. Uh, studies have shown that hawthorn and tanshen can promote uh, blood flow in the coronary arteries. So this formulation could be also helpful for those with mild coronary heart disease. The lotus leaves and the hawthorn berries also are thought to be able to have some effect in lowering blood pressure and perhaps also to lower blood cholesterol levels. People who uh, suffer from mild cardiovascular disease may find this uh, tea to be useful for consumption regularly, especially after meals. Uh, not so good to drink it before meals because the hawthorn is a little bit sour and when your stomach is hungry, it's better not to take anything that is uh, too sourish. The wolfberry seeds are added also to sweeten the tea so it has a nice taste. Uh, and to neutralize the sour effect of the hawthorn. Wolfberry seeds also help to cool the body and promotes the immune system. Of course, if you don't want wolfberry seeds, you could also use a little bit of rock sugar. So this uh, tea is nice because you can drink it, uh, say, after a meal, helps with your blood circulation, improves your immune system. Uh, it's, it's something that you can drink uh, every day if you like. If you have a dry throat or you have cough because of deficiency in yin, of your, especially of your lungs, uh, here is a tea that could be helpful. It consists only of four ingredients. There is mai tong, which is also known as the dwarf lily turf tuber. Then pei sha shen, uh, which is uh, also known as the coastal glenier root. The lily bulb of pai he and again wolfberry seeds. This tea is a combination of herbs that not only nourish and moisten the lung but also clears the heat in the lungs and also produces uh, body fluids uh, especially to moisten your mucous membrane of the mouth and throat. It's therefore a tea that is good for quenching thirst 
especially thirst that comes with a dry throat. The tea overall is tastes sweet because of the yin tonics and uh, it's a very pleasant tea to drink uh, even before meals, uh, in between meals, especially when you're feeling thirsty. Uh, but we we'll only have to caution uh, that you cannot take too much of it because there are some of the ingredients are a bit cold and uh, too much of it could damage your spleen and stomach. So by and large, it's probably better to drink it after dinner. But if you drink some before dinner, in between meals, that's okay too. I come next to the, a, a tonic tea for the, your qi and your blood. As you know, qi and blood are very important fluids in your body. Qi for driving a lot of processes and blood for nourishing and for uh, bringing uh, nourishment to your organs as well. Uh, the four ingredients are astragalus or huang qi, American ginseng or siyang shen, red dates or da zhao, and long yan ro or long an. This tea is good for refreshing, for rejuvenation, as it is a balanced qi and blood tonic. To prepare it, take the huang qi and cut it into thin strips uh, so that it's easier to extract ingredients from it, tastes a little stronger. Uh, the quantity of red dates and the longan meat should be about half of the huang qi and the American ginseng as they are quite warm and uh, too much of it can result in some internal heat. This tea can strengthen the spleen functions and because it also nourishes the blood, it can promote better sleep.